Hello guys, welcome along to some gameplay. I've got nearly 600 Xbox 360 games, so let's play one. So today we're going to be playing X-Blades. Hello, so here we've got X-Blades and it's on the Xbox 360. It's a hack and slash game, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let this intro, let you watch the intro, then I'll come back in. I'm a treasure hunter, and frankly, I'm the best there is. I've traveled all over the world in search of treasure, and I've found riches beyond imagination. Oh, and I always work alone. Why would I want a partner? Shh, I'd have to share the loot. About a year ago, I found a map of some ruins in a crumpled old book. Another empty city run down by the passage of time. But, according to legend, hidden in the ruins was an artifact of incredible power. Centuries ago, a powerful god infused the object with all his might. The book didn't say why he did that, but I think it was because either he had grown tired and wanted to rest, or he was trying to hide his abilities from someone. No matter what the reason, I'm here for the artifact. If the legend is true, then finding this relic would be a prize beyond imagination. If it's an ancient piece of junk, well, I can always sell it for a hefty price. Hello guys, so... Eggs bleeds. Right, so when I first put this on, I initially thought, oh, this is quite good. This, I like the graphics, I like the style of it. The character is a bit dubious, I mean look at what, I don't know if it, you'll be able to see but she's got hardly anything on so that's a bit but apart from that, it moves quite easy Now the button I'm pressing here is this X that's all I'm doing here The gameplay that you're seeing now is, is the second time I've played it 
I had a wee shot, a wee half hour shot beforehand, a few days before this. But all the buttons I'm pressing are just X, that's all I'm doing. Um, and she's got, two, and she's got two shields, two, two shields. Shut up. She's got two swords. What happens to you is you collect these orbs that you're seeing. Um, when I kill the monsters or creatures, whatever the heck they are, they look like kind of mini dinosaurs to me. Um, which you then can use to spend on moves, which you're going to see. Um, me purchasing these moves and because obviously you're going to need these bigger moves for bigger creatures um, you've also got guns, pistols as you're seeing at this moment because it's flying creatures but it's looked like, I don't know giant kind of moths now one of the we one, I've already upgraded uh, it's, it's like a fireball But you've seen me, you've changed, I've changed colour and you'll see me destroying this thing. I mean, I've, I've, I've cut out all the boring bits, because obviously right at the start here, it's basically gone over all your moves. Telling you how to jump and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you, you, you don't want to see a half hour video of learning how to do all these, these simple moves. Although the, the game, I'll give you a wee bit of background in the game. It was originally published under the name Onyblade as a PC exclusive back in 2007 in Russia by 1C Publishing. Uh, South Peak Games announced that X-Blades would come out on, well, it's the last generation, the seventh generation, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. It was developed by Cajun Entertainment. And it uses the Dagor Engine 3. Now, when I've done a wee bit of research on this game, because initially when I just played these, I mean, I end up playing three levels of this game. And I enjoy playing the three levels. Um, you know, it wasn't mind blowingly brilliant, but it, it, it did make me keep on playing. Um, so I, I did enjoy it. I did read a lot of reviews, because the reviews gave it, they gave it an average score. I mean, you're Metacritic, and we can argue about Metacritic scores and all that kind of stuff. They give it an average of, you know, 50. 50 out of 100. IGN gave it 6 out of 10. And, all the, and some of them even gave it less. And what the biggest complaint was, it's the same. It's the very same all the way through. And then it gets frustrating. And then it'll be really, really frustrating. Because um, it's meant to get a lot harder. That move you've just seen, that's called the Avalanche move. And that's one of the moves I, one of the first ones I purchased. As you can see, there's like again they look like kind of lizard men. And you've got quite a lot of them on screen. So you do need your special moves. Um and this was me actually, I'm trying to hunt because I'm still trying to suss out the game at this point. This is in the second level. I could see my health in the top left, the green bar, which I'm doing to, you know, a fifth. That's your health. And I'm trying to suss out, is there anything I can find that boosts your health? Because I thought, I'm going to die here. Your red bar underneath, which has gone up, that's your special. So you need that kind of filled up to do your special moves. At this moment in time, I've got two special moves, which is an avalanche and kind of fireball. I mean, your character name here is Oni, what's it? I think it's Yoni. Yomi. Yomi. <laughs> that's her. That's the character name. And I don't know what the story is. I mean, it's a hack and slash game. Just point me at some baddies and I'll kill them. I mean, I'm in some kind of desert land. It's a, the first time I was in kind of Tomb Raider style. Um, I never showed it in the video, but I had jumping and from platform to platform type thing. 
and I was in style, in, inside kind of some kind of temple. At this, I'm kind of outside in the desert. But like I say, it's a hack and slash game, and I don't think you really need to know what's going on. It's not a brilliant game. I think there's a lot more better games out there. If you're wanting to play hack and slash, but your biggest complaint I heard was the frustration of it as it gets further in for your bosses. In the third level, I got to the third level and I never did finish it because you had this kind of big boss. It looked like one of these creatures that I'm fighting at the moment um, who was in the middle and he was firing big massive fireballs at you while you're still surrounded by these kind of lizard guys. So you're having to fight them off, jump over this big massive fireball and I didn't, I couldn't suss out how to kill the big boss. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. And, um, aye, x Blades for the Xbox 360. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, cheers.